Now what you see in front of you now is the spreadsheet that I handed out at the uh, night uh, exposing for night shots uh, session uh, last week. And uh, the spreadsheet is made up of columns which represent uh, f-stops, so f1.4, if you're lucky enough to have a lens that fast, uh, all the way through 2.8, 5.6, up to 16. And then the rows are made up of shutter speeds. So uh, this top one would be 30 seconds, bottom would be one, one, uh, one eight thousandth of a second. And pay attention to the less light and more light designations as I explain what we're going to do here. So the way you use this is first you would take a meter reading and you would get a normal reading of whatever it may be. For our purposes, I'm going to say f2.8 at 500th of a, of a second. So if that's the meter reading that I get, I would come to the spreadsheet and I would put a mark in uh, the intersecting column and row. So f2.8, if I look over here, 500, and I would, uh, where they intersect, I would put a mark. Now, this is where I have to start thinking. Do I want shallow depth of field? Because that's what this is going to give me at 2.8. Or do I want something with, with more depth of field, such as F8? Um, let's argue that you want F8. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to put a mark in F8. Um, now, in order for me to determine what the right shutter speed uh, needs to be, um, I've actually gone and I've gone, um, and I'm going to count each one of uh, these, um, these columns or cells in between, but I've gone from 2.8, I've gone 1, 2, and then 3 stops, um, less light, again keep in mind up here. So I've gone from a wide aperture down to a smaller aperture, and it's a 3 stop difference, okay? So the way you figure out the shutter speed is whatever I do in one direction with the f-stops, I have to do in the opposite direction with the shutter speed. So I've let in less light by changing it to f8, so now I have to allow in more light by going up this way uh, with the shutter speed by the same amount. So it's one, two, three f-stops. So I go one, two, three f-stops, and that's my exposure reading. So if I want a, a um, reading at f8, um, or if I want to take a picture at f8, I would use 1 60th of a second. Um, it's going to give me the exact same exposure as if I shot at f2.8 in 1 500th of a second. The difference will be that this will have shallow depth of field, this will have more depth of field. So, uh, or this one up here actually. So. I hope that makes sense. Again, what, what I do is I record the normal meter reading. I decide I want to change it, if that's what I decide. And I, I decide I want to go to F8, so I go one, two, three stops less light. Um, because whatever I do with one control, I have to do the opposite with the other control, which means I need to let in more light with the shutter speed. So I go one, two, three, and that's my exposure reading. F8, 1 60th of a second. I hope that makes sense. Um, please ask me if uh, it doesn't, and I'd be glad to sit down and go over this with you. So for Kevin Woodbury and Twin Suns Tutorials, I appreciate your time. Take care.